right, so this is a 2016 AMG GTS Edition 1. Um, I just want to show you the real actual condition. Um, just so you know, too, if you're not watching this in full high def, uh, this is in very high definition. So uh, if you pause the video, you can really see anything in super high quality. But just walking around, look at the reflection quality on there. It's just pretty wild how nicely some of these cars are when they come from great homes and people that really do know how to care for a car of this caliber quick look inside too tinted windows definitely a nice match but you know the quality of the seat here this is one of the, this is like actually the first thing i look at in uh, interior so these bolsters are really really lightly worn so this really does tell me that this car has been in great hands well we are inside the gts let's go for a spin Key in my pocket, engine start. Don't need that. Just because I'm a purist, I'm gonna open the pipes. You can actually hear the difference. I hope the camera can get that off. And then here's on. Thing sounds like an American muscle car. It's just badass. All right, so this is a seven speed. Um, here, this is what I wanted to cover. Uh, the transmission's cold, I just pulled it out of the garage. So uh, they call it a wet clutch setup. It's kind of a unique setup because what happens is um, when it's cold, the, the transmission slips. It almost feels like uh, it's riding a clutch. Uh, but as it warms up, that does go away. This is a heavy duty transmission. It really is built to sync with the, uh, you know, with the power this car puts out. And that's obviously very important because control is huge in this car. Uh, but this is definitely not a uh, chore for me. I would love to go for a spin, but let's go put a few miles on it So here park brakes off and Just maybe it'll slip a little bit as I roll away here. Maybe you can hear it No, actually it didn't <laughs> But when it is cold, especially if you're in the Midwest and for some reason I had an s63 that has the same Transmission and when it was cold in the winter it took five minutes for it to get to normal, but that's really how they're designed uh, and it's really designed to Protect the driveline and also the longevity of these parts that go in it because You know it doesn't really do its job until it's fully warmed up and that's really how all sports cars should be treated I'm cruising down the road and go about 35 miles an hour um, You definitely know you're in something sporty. It's a uh, it's got a sporty ride to it the steering is, it's a touch heavy, but that's on purpose, because uh, the car does feel like a brute. But I'm comfy, you know, these seats are fantastic, they're very supportive, uh, but we're gonna hit some railroad tracks here. You can listen to the, the body, and obviously there's no, no sounds or rattles. Perfect. Just listen to this sound. something to be said about that if you're sitting in a front engine car with a rear you know rear seat rear axle that's pushed back it's a totally different uh, feeling but on these when you're going fast it's like you're riding the rear axle so you feel like you're pivoting more when these cars get loose it's actually a ton of fun it is very controllable though at the limit uh, if it does get loose and I'm not saying I've done it with this I actually had a uh, 2017 myself uh, and I drove that car I drove that car a lot it's a car I really enjoyed so getting back into this has, has been really a treat. Now as far as amenities, I mean you got dual zone climate control. All these buttons here are pretty awesome. You can customize pretty much the entire car and how it drives. Uh, we're in comfort mode. We're actually gonna come up on the highway here. I'm gonna take it for a quick spin down there. Um, if you go into sport, it actually changes the, well, it turns off the <laughs> exhaust because it's not that aggressive. We're gonna go to sport plus though. Sport plus puts your Suspension uh, on the sport dampers. You can actually see it. There's a button here. That's a uh, two-stage actually it's three stage But it's on the second stage of the performance suspension. So that's the highest level um, There is a manual switch here the seating position. I mean the, the visibility from where you're at, you know You're sitting low look at where these windows cut the visibility is so cool 
and you're sitting low, you can see everything. The, visit, it, the outward visibility is actually very good. Even the rearward visibility is the mirror, the way it's shaped just kind of cuts the window perfectly. But you can hear, because I'm in Sport Plus now, how much more lively it is. All right, because we have an entrance ramp, I will use this opportunity to give you a taste of the power of this car. Tires are cold, so I might slip for a second. Here we go. Oh yeah, holy shit. <laughs> you're talking about that is back pressure from the exhaust but those sounds should come from behind you so all right I'm gonna put this in manual because that's how I drive it I am now in seventh gear mid-range power is awesome you do not have to downshift to pass anything the turbo torque curves so cool going at a pretty good clip I mean, it really is aero straight. I can accelerate without even touching the wheel, so it has a really cool look, too. When you pull up in this car, it's just, it, it doesn't look like anything else. And even moving down the road, I just, I love the, the kind of egg shape of the back. It's so smooth. And then on the addition one, when you add that spoiler, it's, it's a really cool look. It's kind of a sweeping curve here. in traffic you gotta remember that's where the German Viper analogy just kind of falls short because you're still in a Mercedes-Benz so it still pampers you it's just a great car to be in the quality of the materials the layout it's beautiful it is beautiful I just love this whole sloping here too gives you like the whole business area well thanks for coming for a ride with me and checking out this beauty um, you know I, I, I'm a huge fan and I'm also I'm a Mercedes-Benz owner too so got massive appreciation for the brand and always have so thanks for coming for the ride see you next time and what do they say don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm trying see you next time